It's the start of another day. I don't think I showed you this uh, tractor they gave us to uh, replace the AS with. It's not in the uh, it's not in the thing. It's got the front mowers on though. It's a 7718S, so it's a lovely tractor actually, very nice. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely machine. Keithy noticed the uh, power deficiency between the two models straight away. We're, uh, we're just gearing up to uh, get machines ready to go haymaking again. It looks like we've got a shower coming in the morning, uh, tomorrow morning, so it's got to get cleared up today. So farmers organizing. We're gonna run the two small balers, either a third small baler or a big baler, whoever can come basically. We'll get it all mopped up today, hopefully. So all about getting machines out ready, looked at, make sure everything's ready to go. Uncle Franklin will be down to start raking. I don't know if we'll send two tedders out today or just the one. There are showers about today, so hopefully we don't get them. We just noticed you never really see it until it's in the right spot. This little crack here was sat at the bottom and it's about, well, it's as long as that and it's uh, it's almost ready to go bang. I don't think we're going to mess about. We're going to have a new tyre for this. But uh, these things aren't cheap. They're, uh, they're mental expensive. We are going to go quickly rake up some silage for coal. Coal's coming down to get the baler, the bit, uh, the round baler. We've got a lot going on today, so it's going to be a bit of a all over the place video. We've just realised we've got, we've, we have to have a new tyre on this one and it's the opposite side to the one uh, on that tractor. So what we're going to do is have a new tyre and then put the two good tyres on one on the good tractor and then the used ones all stay on this one. So that's actually a bit of a result because farmer was umming and ahhing whether to get two tyres. That'll work a treat actually. We'll have a set of new tyres on that on that 18. Keithy's gone off tedding, he's gone off early, there's no dew on the grass, so the first job, as soon as you get out of the car, feel the grass, see how much dew's down, see how, see what the uh, the hay ground's going to be like, it'll tell you how wet it is to start with. Uncle Franklin will be on the rake later on, but we're just going to go and make a start for him, so he hasn't got to get himself here so early. Colin's going to be doing a bit of round baling. We've got a bit of wrapping going on. We've got small balers coming and there'll be some trailering later on. I think the farmer was on about getting some big balers here, maybe as well. So uh, it's not a great deal of area, but there's a lot of crop there. And um, yeah, so there's going to be all sorts going on. I've got the drone with me today. If we get a chance, I'll do some filming for you. Probably looking at the sky there, which is no help to anyone. We just see how the day plans out and where we are and where we fit in. This rye grass is, um, yeah, it, this will be second cut, and it's beautiful. You know, it's um, it really has uh, cleaned itself up because there was a lot of wheat in there to start with, and the first cut took care of all of that, and uh, it just left us a real nice uh, second cut, but. If the rain gets on it, it will, you, with rye grass, you've got to have it top notch for it to be worth anything. If it's second grade, nobody wants to know about it. Uh, usually goes into uh, sort of, you know, horse racing stables, stuff like that, because it's uh, very uh, rich in its uh, nutrients. But either way, it's not going to get wasted. It'll be silage if it's silage. If it's uh, if it stays dry, it'll be lovely hay. And it will make lovely hay. It's a beautiful colour. We'll just see what the weather does on that one. Colin silage is one. He started picking them up yesterday before we uh, we, before we started baling. We came home with uh, 1,700 bales yesterday, which wasn't a bad, considering we only started at 3 o'clock. That wasn't bad at all. This is the one we're going to silage up for coal. This has only been ted out once and left to dry a little bit. Some people will tell you all the different numbers for exactly how dry they want it. We don't really do any of that. We just ted it out, leave it a day to dry and, and then silage it up from there. I'm going to put our rake to 7.4. That is usually where the round baler likes it. If you can feel the pickup of the round baler, you'll make a beautiful round bale because the the material going in is nice and even. That's the uh, that's the aim. But obviously, with uh, crop changes and stuff like that, it's not always the case. We rev right up to 540. The uh, two arms go and float; they're independent, so they can go up and down. And uh, we'll get started here. You 
can try all you want to get right in the corners but all you do is risk sticking your arms into the hedge picking up sticks and stuff like that so we, we're not too fussy on getting every last little smidge of grass right next to the hedge if you bend the rake there's no more raking for the day so we uh, try and keep everything in good order Just check behind you, make sure you're clearing it all up. I think it's set pretty nice actually, that's right. This is the first straight line that you got to put in. No GPS on this one, so we'll see if I see how good I am when we turn around. But the key is not to look behind you. The moment you look behind, pick out something at the end of the field, try and stick the nose to it. Well, I picked the wrong one up. <laughs> I picked the wrong one up. That's where your independent arms come in. Clear it all up then. Right, we're going to have a look behind us, see what the damage is. See if we need to fire ourselves. Oh, I don't know. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> this is, um... This is quite a satisfying job, this one. That arm goes down first. Then that arm. There we go. Easy as that. We'll soon have this cleared up go round three times you can get round three times but it puts you close to the hedge with your arms up in the air I always just go round uh, I always go round four if you've got someone chasing you it's a bit different uh, and a bit more tricky because they're starting to leave bales and stuff at the end of the rows for you so you uh, you got to have your you, you have, yeah you have your work cut out for you if you know what I mean Uncle Franklin sits on here, he'll be on here today. It's his job usually all summer. He sits on the rake, he likes doing the raking. And he's quite happy, he knows what he's up to. They're not bad, Rose. It's nearly, it's halfway to hay this stuff, but there's still plenty of sap in it. If you had, if you had some more good days, you would, you would certainly consider haymaking that. But uh, yeah, you can see a sky around us now it doesn't look very good at all it's supposed to be a bright day but uh never mind colin will be here in a second with the round baler get this round bailed up there's quite a crop out there more than i thought actually um you can see the uh everything's gone to head now so it's a little bit different stage last time it was a little bit younger but uh still for second cut there's not a bad crop out there at all oh i am struggling with my voice still there's the rake we'll get that folded up Uncle Franklin needs that now. We're hoping this just blows over and doesn't come to anything, but it doesn't look very good at the moment. It's actually uh, July 2nd now, and we're at the point where hay is now starting from, it's, it's starting to go from young to old. So the, uh, the amount of time it takes to make hay becomes less and less. So it actually becomes easier as long as you've got a bit of weather with you. Along with that, um, we have a lot, of, uh, a lot of grass that we can't actually touch until the 2nd of July. There's a lot of schemes out there where you can't cut anything till uh, after July. And um, yeah, these schemes are all right, but you, you just end up with you, you can never get the best out of your crop so we, you know I don't know farmers been looking at schemes and stuff but we're, we're not interested in anything that has a, a limitation on when you can cut it and stuff like that because it's no good to us if you've got 90% of your hay that you can't cut till 2nd of July you've got a lot of work to do right before harvest you know it could it could become that we're still haymaking in harvest time uh, it will be tricky and we will have to uh, 
yeah, just see how it goes. Hopefully we get another good spell. We just want two weeks of weather and we can uh, we can get a lot done then. I rode it up already. Have you just got lovely and dusty? Yeah, first job of the day. That's what you got to do, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I did my baler last night. I was oh, sensible. just too clever. <laughs> They finished last night and young David and Jordan were running loads and I thought, right, I'll get that done today. Yeah, better in it, do it at night. Good done. I'm yeah. gonna put the wrapper on, I'll come out wrapping with you. Yeah. What's it like down there? Is there a lot? Yeah, about hundred I would have thought. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah, right. Uh, there was 175 first time and there's half decent crop there, so it'd be yeah, it'd be eighty hundred, something yeah, like that. Yeah. So you'll need a net, maybe. That's yeah, so what I was just thinking, I'll put a net in just, just in case. all the way back, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'll see you down there. We're in with the oxen. If you remember last year, we had one of these corners uh, break off on us, so the pin breaks. Uh, so Richard last year mended this side for us. And then just the other day, we, uh, we had the other side go. We got a part from Arkson. Uh It looks like a bit of a beefier part. So hopefully they hold out a little bit longer we got another spare just in case anything else happens to them but it, this is the only weak part on the actual machine but uh, yeah Richard from Otmore Ironworks sorted us out with that and got us going again it only took him literally I'm not joking an hour and we were back up and running so yeah thanks Richard we got the wrapper on we've uh, just left ourselves some wrap in the corner if we need some extra ones we're, I don't know, have, let's have a guess. I reckon 94, 94 bales. The clock starts at 1, 3, 10. We'll have a look at the end. Cole's on the round baler. He'll have them done up nice and tight. We just need to get our machine set here. So it basically works as a pump. Uh, let's see. We're actually set. Pretty nice like that, so I ain't, I ain't gonna touch it. We're just gonna pull that back. Uh, where are we? Oh, it's not right. Whoa! To about there. We set our revs to about 1100. We can shut that down if we want with the uh, with the adjuster outside here. If we need to, if it's too fast, if you have it set too fast you'll cause wreckage and stuff like that so we don't tend to have our wrapper set too fast it's a high speed wrapper as it is so it has two spools that's what the high speed means and the first time in this field we had 175 so we're not going to get anywhere near that oh whoa whoa oh i need to press that anyway which is all right try and spin one of these Whoa. Auto start. Got to keep your arm down below the tyre. As long as you do that, this machine's easy. First one's off. And I should have probably put that near the side. I'll do that. Cole will be going up and down. I'll get these uh, headland ones, put them near the closest to the hedge so Cole's got a bit more room to turn. You always want to be wrapping on the move. Good bales they are. There might be more out here than I originally thought. Look at the background there. I think that is rain back there. The hay fields are that way. And uh, it's, it's heading that way, which is not good. I'm just gonna let Cole clear this uh, next row up. It just frees me up so I can get on the bears, a, get on the bears, get on the bales a bit squarer. But uh, pretty good rows. 
Cole's gonna have to put a net on in a minute. He ain't realised it yet. The nets on those things will do uh, about 300 bales, give or take. I can feel moisture in the air now. I'm going to get back on the tractor. It's going to be one of those days that really annoys you because I bet the uh, second part of the day is going to be going to be good. Here comes another one. That's the end of the net. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Huh? You purposely chose the time it starts to rain to run out of nets. Are we gonna cut this one? Yeah, he ain't no good, is he? No. He won't get back to the yard, will it? Uh, not in good shape, no. <laughs> I'll just cut it here, shall I? Yeah, we gotta just push him back out. What happened earlier? I bunged it up, because I was going too fast. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> and when uh, <laughs> the rake had just joined the two together, there was a lump. Oh, a lump, it. yeah, I, I got you. Stand on the anchors quick enough. This will go back in, won't it? Yeah, I'll just go back in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd, um, what I thought you'd done was um, open the door on the wrong beep. Oh, no, no. Just, yeah. If you open it on the first beep, does it just let it out like this? Yeah. 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 And you look like a right square. <laughs> Yeah, packs them into it, doesn't it? Blimey hell. We're going the wrong way, we've got to do some steering. <laughs> I think that's buggered A making for the day, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I yeah. imagine the sun will come out in about an hour's time just to really bug you. Yeah, we get there about five. Yeah. <laughs> do just over one trailer though. Yep. Easy. We had it easy last year, didn't we? <laughs> Can't have it easy every year. It's a, these things are heavy as well, aren't they? What do you do with it? You just put it on the floor? No, you've got to take all the plastic off there. Take it off here? Yeah. I bet you've got a routine, haven't you? Yeah. They've changed and they used to have a like a band around like a loom type and now they put these ridiculous things in. And they put them inside as well. Oh yeah. It's just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> well they used to just put a little acid gun around it. Yeah. It was easy. Me and Keithy, when we were silaging we had a go, I put the net in for him. <laughs> Yeah. We got it right, I think. Yes, Put it in back to front. There's one, uh, there's one orange roll you go and yeah. sure you get that. It's, uh, it's a job. If you if you don't remember that one... Yeah, but it looks right, but it is right. Yeah. You sort of look at it and you think, oh, I've got it the same as a diagram, but you end. It's threading that bit... Um, threading that bit through the knife there is a... There's a hole at the end. The yeah, yeah, I did, but it's, um, it's not easy though, is it? That is just enough to put you back an hour, isn't it? Yeah. That ain't come to nothing though, has it? A little bit of drizzle. I imagine Keith will be up there all day, won't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, no, he's got them on, uh, they're sat on the mowers at the minute. Oh, wow. He said that dragged it down over there. So really? Than that, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. 180 horse on that one, yeah. Right. Sorry, yeah. Yep. That gobbles it up, doesn't it? Jesus. Yeah, I'll come down again because I don't want to bang up again. <laughs> no. And all the time I save by going up again, wow, I've yeah. wasted it pushing up bay now. Exactly. That's so it. Back to square one, you might as well go down That's again. That's what I say to Linda on the packer. As soon as it bungs up, you, you went no further forward. 
Like you might as well go a gear slow, that's go, it. Go slow, I'll never stop. No. Is the crop all right there, Cole? Is that all right for yeah, silage? Just right, perfect. Yeah, that'll do. Absolutely perfect. That'll do then. It will. There'll be a few bales, wouldn't there? Yeah. There we go. The uh, We've caught a, a big shower. Hang on, let's get this going again. Just that change of reels, obviously, when it starts raining. But uh, once it rains, like it has done now, we all know what we're doing now. That will take longer than an afternoon to get dry again. So, we sort of know what we're doing. Uh, there's heavy rain coming tomorrow. It's just going to lay out there now. So what happens is the hay starts to uh, get a bit of colour to it. It will, uh, it will smell a bit different. It won't smell as nice. It will get dusty. Basically, you've got to do something else with it. So what can we do with it? We can silage it. We can put it into big bale cow hay because this is where the cows come in a treat you see they probably all say, wondering well what why have you uh why have you got hay making when the weather ain't quite there well it's because we don't really have a choice uh i've just got to get this going we don't have the luxury of just going hay making whenever we want we uh, we've got so much to do we're only about halfway and we've got still a lot to do so anyway we're gonna go and have a cup of tea now regroup uh, we always you know if it wouldn't have rained it would have got would it would have come in but same story weatherman promises you the world and, uh, <laughs> and that's what you get so, but what we might do now is just to, uh, now this has had a rain on it, it's, uh, it's going to be, the quality is going to drop. So we might just get the rake out and rake it up and silage it. This little bit, of, this shower won't affect it too much. It'll add a bit of weight to the bales. It'll make the bales a little bit wetter, but that's okay because they're on the drier side anyway. We're going to go and get some lunch and a cup of tea. Farmer's just loaded a hay lorry, so we'll have a look at that. Oh, that happened in Northern Ireland about four months, three months ago. Did it? I was, uh, say you, this is your building here. Yeah. I was coming up with a very tight sewer treatment works. Saw the building, obviously, but in the middle of the building, it's thinking up about two and a half metres. It was a girder with a block and tackle on it, but the block and tackle was on the inside. And of course, I was only seeing it head on, and it was up the height of the yeah, car, so it was out of my eye line. Yeah. And I went to turn and crunch, I never saw it on and hit the cab. Oh my God. Uh, but the, yes, it's annoying that it happened, but the most annoying thing of all is, the guys who were working on the treatment work said they'd only just replaced it because a wagon had hit it the week before. Oh right, lovely. You might thought they put a flag on it or something, That's wouldn't you? That's all you wanted to hear, isn't it? That's a smart truck though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, wow. Believe it or not, this is going in on Tuesday to get that fixed. Let's have it done, yeah. And I'm having a brand new one of these. Oh yeah. Yeah. Even though I hit that, the boss still thinks I'm good enough to get a new one. Yeah, stuff happens though, doesn't it? You oh, know, no matter how many how good you are or yeah. we're all watching, but sometimes stuff happens. Yes. Where are you heading with this one? Wales? Oh yeah, to Hills. Down to Wales, nice. Is that what we got on there? New hay, is it? I, is, this, is this this year's name? Yeah, 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 I think so, yeah. yeah probably, yeah. Beautiful stuff. Yes, this is good. Nice. How many you got on then? I think you said about 500 meters, I think. 580 and some straw on top. <laughs> well, yeah, the straw is because the... The bale packs are too high to put them four high. Oh, okay, yeah. So you make... Makes a load up. You make the load up by putting 10 of them on top of it. It wasn't the day we all thought it was going to be. So we went silaging instead. I don't know how many we got in this field. The other field wasn't too bad, 138. We had 160, 175 first cut. And 138 second cut. Colin's going to have that. And we were hoping to hay make this field, but uh, it's not to be. The rain uh, got on it, and it will. Uh, it will just. Um, yeah, it won't be its best. So it's going to silage. That was always a plan. If it if it rained on it, it was silage. If it if it stayed nice, it was uh, it was going to be hay. So a bit of a shame, but because it was a nice uh, it was a nice crop there. But never mind. The cows will enjoy it. I'm sure. Last one coming off. 
1952. 204. Can't remember how many we had in here that, the uh, first time. Still, that's not bad. That's, uh, that's not bad for the second cut. So there we go. We've got all those to pick up now. It'll make some nice silage anyway. We're going to fold this up. 